In this video, we're going to go through the answers of our sorting fractions and decimals onto number line activity. So, our very first question says let's sort a half, three quarters, seven eighths, and one quarter onto this number line. So, remember the first step is to find the lowest number possible that the denominators can all be. They all have to be the same to think of what's the lowest they can all be. So I'm looking also at the top numbers to see if there's anything I can do. So I could see, well, could I divide something by seven and eight? And no, because seven's a prime number, so it won't work. Um, so it looks like um, I might have to multiply other numbers. So I go, well, can four get into any number that goes into eight? Yes, it can, it can go into eight. Can two go into something that goes into any of these numbers? Yeah, two can also go into eight. Um, so I know that 2 can go into 8, I know 4 can go into 8, I know 8 can go into 8, I know 4 go into 8. So it looks like 8's the lowest number they all can go into, right? Because I can't go from 8 to 4 because that means I'd have to make this a decimal and then that won't be a fraction anymore. So um, it looks like 8 is the lowest common multiple, our LCM. So now let's do it. So to do that, we go, well, I know 2 times 4 equals 8. Whatever you do to the bottom, do to the top. So now I've got 4 over 8. My 3 quarters is the same as 4 times 2 equals 8. So that means it's 6 over 8. 7 and 8, I don't need to do anything. It stays the same. It's already got 8 on the bottom. And then 4, I need to times it by 2 to make it 8. So we do the top by two, we do the bottom by two, and we've got two eighths. So these are what we call equivalent fractions. They're worth the same, yeah, two eighths is the same as a quarter. They're worth the exact same, it's just shown in a different way. It's broken up into eight parts rather than four parts. So uh, with our number line here, let's break it up into four, sorry, break it up into eight parts. So to do that accurately, I'll just go, well, I know that um, 8 is just um, 2 and then times 2 makes 4 and then um, times 2 again and that should be 8 marks. So I'm saying times 2, I'm just saying I'm splitting everything up again in half. So that should be 8 marks, right? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven and here we are my eighth one but i don't really need a right line there because it's already there so now i can very easily put them on the number line we're going to make sure we write what they were originally not their new number so four eighths is that one two three four is our fourth one here so four eighths go here but instead of writing four eighths i'm going to write one half right because they're the same so half was what my question said i need to do the four just helped me work out where it is so the three quarters is at six. So this is four, five, six. So here's six eighths, that's three quarters. And then our seven eighths will just be at the seventh one. So that was our seventh one before it was six. And then uh, we have two eighths. So one, two, so two points in, and that's one quarter. So that fraction, that number line is done. All right, let's go to this question. So we need to find what's a number they can all go into. So um, I can't go into two because I have to divide it by two. And then if I went to the top, divide by two, it won't work, all right? This won't work. It'll be some number of decimals, so I can't do it. So I know dividing won't work. So I'll have to multiply. Um, is there a number that I can multiply everything to get to the same number? So um, I know that 2 can go into 4, so if I times it by 2, go into 4, uh, same here. So they'll all be 4, and that'll work. Great. So whatever you do to the bottom, do to the top. So now we've got 2 quarters, and we've got 4 quarters, and that's it. So now let's break them into 4 parts, because the bottom number, the denominator, shows you how many parts it needs to be split up into. So we're going half, and then half again, and that should be 4 equal parts. So three quarters will be my third one. Two quarters will be at my, um, my second one. I have to write it as half. 
uh, one quarter will be at my first one. And then four quarters or two over two is at the fourth one. So right here. So I'm gonna write this as two over two. When the top number and bottom number are the same, that just means it is a whole number. It's equal to one. Question three. This one you might notice there is no number here. Um, so we might need to work out what will go there. So let's see what it could be. Um, straight away looking at this, they can all go into 10. So I know five goes into 10, 10 goes into 10, two goes into 10, 10 goes into 10. Um, can we divide anything and get it smaller? Um, so these could go into both five. I could divide them both by two and that will make it five on the bottom, but I can't make two into a five. I can't do that. So it looks like 10 is our best one. So five times two, that'll make it 10, right? So that's four over 10. And there won't need to change anything because it's already 10. Two times five equals 10. So that's 15 over 10. And this has already got 10, so I don't need to do anything. So we've got to split up into 10 parts. How I do that is I would split up into five, uh, half and then I'd split that into five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then I do another five on this side. So one, two, three, four, and then the last number will be right here on the end, five. So that'll be 10 all up. So at the fourth mark, one, two, three, four, is four tenths. At the sixth mark, five, six, is six tenths. I've just realized I wrote four tenths here, um, but I should have written two fifths, shouldn't I? Because four tenths was to help me work out where it goes, but the question was saying, where does two fifths go? So I write it as two fifths instead. Uh, three over two was the same as 15. Ah, I made a mistake. Um, we've got a number that is what we call a improper fraction. We've got these two are improper. So, sorry, I might have confused you there. We don't want to split up into 10 parts. Mm -mm -mm. No, we don't. This is why. So, when we have improper fraction, we will need to convert it into proper. Proper just means the top number is smaller than the bottom number. So, to do that, you say how many um, tens go into 15? And the answer is it goes in one time with how many left over? It has five left over to get to 15. So then it's one and five tenths. So that's uh, how you do that. And then um, I might just write it a bit neater here. So it was the same as one and five tenths. And then for 12 over 10, uh, the top number is bigger, so I need to change it. So how many tens go to 12? One goes into it. And then there's two left over to get to 12. So it's one and two tenths. So that means this little line here, this little lassie, is equal to one whole. And then this line here is equal to two because we have to go past the one um, to get to to get to my one and five and my one and two, right? So that means I'm going to split this up into ten parts right now. I've split them to five, so I just have to halve them all, and that will be ten. So if you don't believe me, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? So we've got ten marks. I might just clean that up a little bit. Um, and then same here, I'm going to split this up in half again, and then that will be 10 on this side. So we'll actually have 20 lines across this number line. So now, 4 tenths, sorry, it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's here. So 2 fifths is 4 into it. Uh, 6 tenths, so we're at 4, 5, 6, so 6 tenths is here. Uh, 3 halves, so that was 15, so I need to go to um, five, so I need to go one, so here's my one, and then I've got to go five over, so one, two, three, four, five, so here's one and five tenths, but I don't write it as one and five tenths, I have to write it as three over two. Uh, 
okay and then our last one 12 over 10 was 1 and 2 2 tenths so I have to go here 1 and 2 tenths so that was 12 over 10 okay sorry for making that mistake before but hopefully that made sense of how I fixed it question 4 is there a number they all go into um, I can already tell they all go into 12 uh, and I won't be able to divide this one or one twelfth to make it six. So it looks like they're all going to 12. So I need to make them 12. Six times two will equal 12. So that's eight twelfths. And then two, so three times four equals 12. So do the same to this one. Gives us eight twelfths. Ah, we have numbers that are the same that's okay so we're gonna to have to break this up into 12 parts um, this is where you need to maybe make sure you use an eraser and try and rub it out so we'll have um, again I would try and split up in half and then just think of it as just this section right here and then double whatever it is on that section so half of 12 is 6 so I need to have 6 on this side so maybe I'd go to 3's so here's 3 parts right so I've got 1 two, three, uh, and then if it's three, then I just need to halve it again, and that makes six. So that'll be six. So then if I do the same here, break up into three parts, so here's my first part, second part, third part, and then break them up in half, it'll be six. So now we have 12 lines. So at one twelfth, we have it here at four, Sixths, it was at the eighth mark. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight is right here. So that was four over six. We also realized that this one was eight twelfths as well. So I might um, write two thirds and just I don't know, put an arrow there so you know that's where it goes. And then seven twelfths. Um, so that was just one behind. So here, seven twelfths. Okay, next question. So we have a decimal as well. So um, often when it's decimals, you probably want to split the number, li number line up into 10 parts. That's just the easiest way of doing it. So can I make all of these 10? Uh, I can. So uh, how do I make 20 into 10? If I divide it by 2, it'll make it 10. You, you're only allowed to do that though if the top number also works it's because it will work it'll be three it'll be a whole number it'll work so that makes it three over ten four tenths oh sorry yeah it is it's called four tenths so you can write it as four tenths if you really want to make it into a fraction uh, four fifths so I see it times it by two to make it ten so that is eight over ten and then half I need to times it by 5 to make it to 10. So that gives me 5 over 10. So we need to break them into 10 parts, right? So same strategy as before. Break them into 5 at the first bit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm breaking up into 5 again. 5. Um, if you're wondering why I don't just eyeball it and just go oh, okay 10 parts right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and they go uh oh um now look at how big this gap is yeah number lines they have to be even evenly spaced so that's why you see me um try and chunk it put it in small sizes and then make it bigger later so at my three mark is six twentieths whoops that's not a twenty at my fourth mark, we've got 0 0.4. At my four fifths mark, that's at eight. So here, four fifths. And then at my half mark, is that halfway or at uh, five tenths? So it's a half. Okay, next question. I can already tell they're all fact they're all numbers that go into 12 um can they be divided and make it into six no because 11 can't be divided so they'll have to go to 12 so six times two to make it 12 
3 times 4 will make it 12. So 8 times 2, there's a spider on my desk, that's alright, he's only a friendly one. Uh, so that's um, 16 over 12, and then um, 20 over 12. So this time before we make a mistake, the, these are both improper fractions, so we have to convert them to mixed. So how many 12s go into 16? 1. And then how many left over to get to 16? So if I've gone, I'm counting by 12, so I've gone 12, and I have to go to 16. Let's count by 1, so 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I had 4 left over to get to 12. And then same as this one right here. Um, how many 12s go into 20? One time. And then if I'm on 12 and I'm trying to get up to 20, I'll have 8 left over to get there. So it's 1 and 8 12. Which means if I've gone past 1, it means that I'm going to have to have 1 here. I'm going to have to have 2 here. Um, because it's a number line, you, you would be correct if you said, like, I want, I don't know, this to be 1 and I want this to be 1.5. It doesn't have to go to 2, but I'm just gonna make it go two because I think that's looks the neatest. So it's at the one mark. Okay, so they need to be again uh, this time split up into twelve parts. So uh, I'll do the same as what we did before, make them into um, six first. So <clears throat> sorry, I'll make it to three, then double it to make it six, and then double it to make twelve. So Here's three lines, and then here's six lines, and if I double it again, that'll be 12. It's a lot easier to split it up, so it'll be 12 nice and even. And then same here, to make it 12 right here, split into three parts, and then double it to make it six, and double it to make it 12. So at four twelfths, we need the first one, so one, two, three, four, that's four twelfths. At eight, six, that was the same as one and four twelfths. So one, two, three, four, so it's one and four twelfths here, but we were writing as eight sixths. 11 twelfths, so it's here, 11 twelfths, just before the one hole. Because at the one hole, that would be 12 over 12, and then two would be, uh, Twenty-four over twelve. Yeah, you'd, yeah, it'd be twenty-four over twelve. You'd want to double twelve on the top. Okay. So now we have our final one: uh, one and eight twelfths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight's here. So this would be five thirds, which is. 1 and 8 twelfths across the line here. Okay, we have this one. So again, um, this one might be a little tricky to do. Uh, I can see here that the common one will be 100 because 25 will go into 100. This is already in hundredths. Um, and 5 goes into 100, so it looks like that's the smallest number it will go into. So, 5 times 10, oh, that's not 100. Um, 5 times 20 makes 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yeah, 5 times 20 equals 100. Um, 0.5, 5 times it by... 10, it'll make 100, so it'll be 50 over 100. Uh, 37 is already out of 100, so 37 out of 100. And then times by 4, it'll make it 100. So I've got 22, 44, 66, 88. Hopefully if I counted that correctly. So now I need to break it up into 100. So again, I would chunk it. I'd chunk it, so I'd go, I'd try and make it um, 10, and then halve it, and then that'll be, wait, 
no, that won't work. If I had if I had ten lines, then I have to break each each line up into ten. I think that would be the easiest way of doing it. So to break them into ten, I'm going to break them into five first. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. And now, so that's ten. So that means in each one, whoops. So between each line, I need to make ten lines. So I do the exact same thing. I'd go, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can see I've got a really big gap here, which is not ideal. But you know what? If we're doing a hundred lines, I think you'll probably forgive me if it's not um, it's evenly spaced for every single one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I might pause it and come back when I'm done. Okay, so I have broken it up into each one up into ten parts. So that should be a hundred lines. Um, a trick I do is I, I count to nine because my tenth one will be the this bigger line here, right? So I've, I know the bigger lines are tens, and the little lines will be. Uh, in yeah, in between the 10. So that'll be, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40. So if I wanted to find 55, I've got a 50 and then count five over. So here's be 55, right? So that's, that's how I've broken it up. Um, I think it's fine if we just write this on the bottom, just so we know where everything is easily. So it's out of a hundred. Um, or actually, no, sorry, technically it's out of one. It's out of 0 0.90, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. These are all decimals. Um, so, um, so at, at my, I didn't even do this one, 4 times 20, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, so it's 80 over 100. So let's start with 80. So it's 80 over 100, which is right here, four fifths. Um, 0.5 is at the 50 mark, so 0 0.5. 37 out of 100 was at 37. So if I go to 30, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 37. And it goes right here. Um, and then we've got 88. So 85 is here, 6, 7, 8. So 88 is right here. And that's 22, oh, 22 out of 25. There you go. So yeah, I know it looks confusing, but it, it actually wasn't that hard. Well, hopefully you didn't find it too hard. And this final one, the spider's still like just next to my microphone. That's okay. <laughs> um, what will they go into? If you can help not going to 100, that would be good. So at least I know 90 and 50 can be divided pretty easily. Um, so it looks like they can all go into 10, hopefully. Yeah, so if I just divided it by 10, it'll just become 9 over 5. And then from that, I could times it by 2 to get it to 10. So hopefully that makes sense of what I just did. And then I have to convert it into a um, a proper fraction. So how many 10s go into 18? 1 with 8 left over. So it's 1 and 8 tenths. And now they're all out of 10. So that's 9 tenths, 7 tenths. And this is 1 and 2 tenths. So they're all into 10 parts. So let's break them into 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. So that means that this point is 1. This point is 2. So at the 1 and 2 points. Oh, I broke them into five not ten so I've got to break up it again so that's ten and then that bits ten right so this bit is 
cut up into 10 parts, same as the other bit. So one and two, so 1.2 goes here. Seven, so it goes at the seventh mark, which is right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. And then nine goes right here. And then 90 fiftieths was at the eight. One and eight. So one, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 90 fiftieths. Okay, and we are done. That's all our answers correct. Great work for doing your work today. Have a great day today. Bye.